Hello guys. So um, let's advance uh, our tutorial. So let's go to let's go to uh, front view. I'm going to show you a few a few tricks. Okay, I'm going to show you how to. Okay, let go to um, create create CV curve. Create a CV curve. If you if you noticed before, I actually put the CV curve, the last uh, uh, piece of the CV curve on here. The last vertex. So that doesn't mean that the curve is actually closed. That only means that's where it ends. Okay, it's not closed at all. So and again, if we if we wanna close this, all we need to do is go to Edit Curves, and um, you, you've got an option of Open Close Curve. Okay. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Um. When you finish, you just press Enter, and you've got a op an option to open or close curve. Okay. So if we close the curve right now, it's closed. And if you wanna open, press the open again. It will open. Remember that this is a toggle, so it either open or close. You only have two options. You do either open or close. Okay. Yeah. So when you when you click on close, when you click on um on close, it actually closes. But you don't know where the actual um. We don't know where it starts, so you don't know where it, where it where, you don't know where the curve starts, you don't know where the curve finishes. So you can go to control vertex, you, you know okay it's side here and it's heading it's heading to towards this direction, you know? Box U. I explained this in the earlier um, videos. If you didn't if you haven't seen the earlier video, go back a, a couple of videos, you find it. So um that's what it does. Okay? So let's go back into um go on here, go back into object mode. We've got our um, item here. Let's uh, actually detach, um, detach, uh, open it. So another thing that we need to know is a detach. Um, how to detach this uh, actual curve? All right, you can actually detach this by going into um, that by going into curve point. All right, Get going into curve point, put a point on here, and that will allow you to actually detach a curve. Okay. So now that the curve is detached, you can actually move it. See, you can actually move it, but again, because your history is turned on, if you decide to actually move, uh, rebuild this one to actually to actually d attach it again, all you need to do is to rubber band select uh, both of these, a curve and uh, attach a curve. It's uh, it's built a new one on top of this one because your history is turned on. You won't delete this one; you actually just build a new one on top of that. So you have an option of actually keeping both of them or one of them. So we're gonna um, rubber band select this one and delete this bad boy again. We're gonna move them, move them to the center, and uh, yeah, progress with our tutorial. So that's how it is to attach a curve, all right. And the other thing you need to know is to actually let's go back into control vertex. If you want to actually um, put a curve, uh, a point, see these vertices, uh, vertices that you can actually move. If we want to move somewhere around here, we can't move it because there's no vertex, you know. So we can actually attach a vertex by actually going into that into um, curve point. All right, go into curve point. Then you can actually attach a vertex right here. All right. So when you when you click on when you attach a little point there, go back to that one and actually insert knot. Okay, go to insert knot and you will be able to insert a knot. When you go back into uh, control vertices. You see that this one has moved down. You've got another knot. See that? So that's how this one works. That's how this works. So um, you insert a knot here. Insert knot. Control vertices. See, it's there. So this is just one of the things that we um. We need to uh, know that Maya has and Maya can do. So you can move it, move it to there if you want it, you know. And if you want it to be somewhere else, you can move it there. So yeah, just uh, bear in mind that these uh, these options are there and you can use them. I'll advance to the next tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe. I'll try to go through these videos as, as quick as I can so we can advance and get somewhere fast. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Good luck and hope you actually enjoy the tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe.